Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. So recently I was talking to one of my avid subscribers and he was wanting to move his Inca storage pool from one NVMe drive to another NVMe drive. And so I decided today to discuss a little bit about this, which is more of an advanced technique. So in Incas Container Step-by-Step, -step, we created the Incas Default Storage Pool inside of a file. And a storage pool created inside of a file is formatted as ZFS, and it's referred to as a virtual storage pool since it's created inside of a file and not on a dedicated block-oriented storage device. And so the Incas admin init command allows dedicating an available block storage device as your default storage pool, but that's not what we did in Incas container step-by-step -step or in LexD step-by-step. -step. So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to migrate the default storage pool from one disk to another. And so here's an example of the original Incas admin init that we did over in Incas containers step-by-step. -step. And I've highlighted here in red the section where you are creating a new storage pool. And we said we wanted to create a new storage pool back then. And when we were asked the question of if we wanted to use an existing empty block storage device, we answered that question no, and that's what created a storage pool that was a virtual storage pool inside of a file. But this time, we're going to go ahead and create a storage pool on block storage. However, since our Incas server already exists, we're not going to rerun Incas admin init, but I include this slide here simply to show you that this is what it would look like when you're asked the question, create a new ZFS storage pool, you would say yes. And would you like to use an existing empty block storage device? You would say yes. And this makes the assumption that you have an empty and available disk that you can wipe out and create the storage pool on. So as an example, you might give it the name slash dev slash SDA and it would use the entire SDA disk for a ZFS storage pool. So in this particular case for this user that I was helping, his current storage he could look at with an lsblk command. And right now his Inca storage pool was on device NVMe 1N1, which is an NVMe uh, disk and it was a 500 gigabyte disk with the formatted size of 465 gigabytes. And so this is where the existing NVMe storage pool was. So rather than being a virtual storage pool inside of a file, it's dedicated to this NVMe 1N1 disk. And when you have a storage pool inside of a dedicated disk, it's going to be a little bit faster than if you actually have a storage pool in a virtual file. But not all people have an available NVMe device that they can dedicate to this. And that's why in Incas Containers Step-by-Step, -step, I didn't do that originally. And down here, he's got another uh, device which he was not currently using called NVMe 0N1, and it's got a two terabyte NVMe in it, and we're going to create a storage pool on that and migrate everything from the 500 gigabyte storage pool over to this new device, which will have a two terabyte NVMe pool on it. So right now, if you do an Incas storage list on his system, he has a Samsung one terabyte is the name of this first ZFS pool. And that's actually on this disk here, SDE. And it has a formatted space of 931 gigabytes. When you look at these ZFS formatted disks, 
One of the things you'll notice is that they generally have a number one partition and they have a number nine partition, but off to the right, they don't show any particular mount point because ZFS doesn't use traditional mount points. So the second one here is the default storage pool, and he's currently got 53 objects in it, which might be a combination of profiles and containers and uh, perhaps Inca's virtual machines as well. And those 53 devices are presently on NVMe 1N1, which is this 465 gigabyte formatted device. And then finally, he's got a storage pool called DIR pool, and it's not even a ZFS storage pool, but it's a DIR storage pool, and DIR storage pools simply map to whatever your native file system is. So the first step in order to do this is to stop all containers, and we do that with the Incas stop dash dash all. The second step is to do a pseudo system CTL stop Incas, and you may get an error that says, or it's actually a warning, saying that its triggering units are still active on the Incas socket, but the stop will be effective nonetheless. And then we want to create a ZFS pool on that brand new disk. And that's why it was really important to do the LSBLK and to understand which disks we're looking at because we don't want to wipe out the wrong device. So I do a sudo zpool create dash F and I'm calling the new ZFS storage pool default underbar new and I'm pointing it at slash dev slash NVMe 0N1. And it's very noteworthy to point out that NVMe 0N1 will be completely wiped out with this command. Then the next thing we have to do is take a snapshot of our existing storage pool and to restore it. So I do a snapshot of the current default storage pool, which is on the 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. And I do that with the sudo ZFS snapshot dash R for recursive. Default at migration is the name of the snapshot. And then I'm sending the snapshot to the new pool on the new device. And I'm doing that with the sudo ZFS send dash capital R, lowercase v, default at migration, and I'm using the pipe command or vertical bar, and then saying sudo zfs rec v dash capital F, default under bar new. And this will go ahead and begin the migration, and it will actually migrate all of the data components that it finds in that ZFS file system. In fact, it didn't even know that that file system was being used for Incas. It's simply a ZFS file migration. Next, we want to update Incas to use the new pool, and we do that by unmounting the old pool, and we do that with a sudo zpool export default. Next, we do an unmount of the new pool, and we do that with a sudo zpool export default under bar new. And then we import the new pool to the default name. And we do that with the command sudo zpool import default under bar new, and then we give it the name default. And then we restart Incas with the command sudo system ctl restart Incas. And then we verify that our storage pools are correct. And we'll do that with an Incas storage list. And this really doesn't look any different from what you saw initially because we still have the Samsung one terabyte, the default ZFS pool, and the DIR pool. And so we do a sudo zpool list and we have the Samsung one terabyte, but notice that the default pool, rather than being 465 gigabytes formatted, 
is 1.81 terabytes formatted so you can tell that we're actually using the new NVMe drive. And then we want to see if our containers are started, so we simply do an Incas list, and you'll notice that all of the containers are up and running, and this is the beginning of that listing. And so now one of the things we can do is to repurpose the old NVMe drive and to make it a new Incas storage pool. So in order to do that, we're going to wipe out this old drive with the command sudo wipefs-a and then slash dev slash nvme one and one and then sudo sg disk dash dash zap dash all slash dev slash nvme one and one and that looks just like this and it will say what it's deleting and it will say that it is creating a new good partition table. And then we want to create a new pool on the old drive and add it to Ancus. And that is done with a sudo zpool create dash f. And we decide to call our new pool on the old device, small pool, and then slash dev slash NVMe 1N1, which is the name of that device. And then we do an Incas storage create small pool using the same name just for documentation purposes. And then we say it's ZFS and the source is going to be the ZFS pool called small pool. And then in summary, once we do that, here are the resulting pools. We do a sudo z pool list, and we now have three pools, Samsung one terabyte, default, and small pool. And then when we do an Incas storage list, we can see that we have four pools now, including the dir pool that we had initially. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit your notification bell and we'll see you next time.